E aí, galera, beleza? Vamos voltar aqui com o episódio 2 de The Walking Dead. Vamos lá. Episódio 2, carente de ajuda. Vambora. Não esquece de deixar o like aí, hein, galera. E se inscrever no canal do Teuzinho Mal, camarada aí. All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Aí, isso foi tudo que aconteceu no episódio 1, mano. Aconteceu muita coisa. Aê, três meses depois. Toma! Machadada na cabeça. Caramba, mano. Opa, personagem. What they get this time? Personagem novo aí. Looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. Eles estão com fome. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Hmm. Não suficiente. Daremos um jeito. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time. Things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Hmm. Kenny não vai nos abandonar. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Eita! He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. É, o velho derrubou a gente com um socão no primeiro episódio, mano. A Lily se preocupa muito com o pai dela por causa do coração, porque o velho sozinho arrebenta tudo. Uh, atira. Take this shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Porra, mano, tu errou. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Cara, errou o tiro, mano. Ah! Tá. 
merda, armadilha de Jesus novo. Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it, get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Uh -huh. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh, vamos tentar. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Caramba. Oh, no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Got it. Oh, God, you can't die. Stop, stop, stop! Lee, do something, please! Get me! No, no, no! Stop! Try to get Jay! Is he gonna make it? Please! We can't just leave him like this! Let's go! Let's go! Hurry! This is bad. This is so bad. Não dá, mano. Não dá pra contar a corrente, não. Lee, it has to be There's gotta be something we can do! Come on! Tá a perna dele. Damn it, Jesus, cut off his no, fucking no, no. leg! Try no, no, no! Try to attack that! Anything, I'm sorry, please. but we have to go! Now! Ah. 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 Can't keep him back forever! Ah. Oh god, there's so many of them! Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now! We gotta go! Caramba. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Vamos levar o cara com a perna bugada para embora daqui. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Vamos Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on, we gotta move. Corre, maluco! Caramba, mano! Esse, essa foi a morte mais estúpida. O moleque foi vomitar e morreu. Que moleque idiota, cara. Porra! Clementine! Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. E, man. What happened? Oh, oh, what What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? 
Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, Shut I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. I don't Come on. over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Vou ficar do lado do Kenny. Look, Parceiro. once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own, I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lynn. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Caramba, mano. Beleza. Eu tenho quatro opções de porções de comida para 10 pessoas famintas. Aí vai ser foda, mano. Caralho. Tá. Uh, vamos conversar com a Katia para saber como é que tá esse maluco aqui. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Uh, posso. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Eu fiz a coisa certa. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Ele ia morrer. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks e for the help. Ia ser devorado. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Beleza. Putz, não deu para dar comida para ela? Tá, eu vou dar comida para as crianças. How you doing, Clementine? Clementine. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Perdeu? Can you help me find it? Perdeu o chapéu, okay. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hmm. Vou dar comida para ela. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Hmm. Biscoito e queijo. Toma aí. Okay. 
A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> if you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Delisa. Come on, Duck. Hey, Duck. I'm out of little food. Meu Deus, o moleque tá muito feliz. Vou dar biscoito e queijo para ele. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Tá, Duck e a família dele ficaram ok. Eu vou conversar com o Duck. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? É um gato. Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Não, é um gato, porra. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Ah, vamos conversar com esse moleque aqui. Eu não vou dar comida para ele não. É novo, um pedaço, não dá não. I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Uh, so who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. <laughs> I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. Hmm... You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Beleza. Começar com a Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Ah, uh, beleza. Back in a bit. Cara, seguinte, eu vou, eu já dei comida pro pro Duck. Eu vou falar com Kenny agora. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Beleza. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. É, mano, eu não vou dar comida pro Kenny porque acho que já, já dando comida pro Duck, Kenny já fica feliz. Deixa eu falar com a Carly. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now, we should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. It isn't. Keep an eye out. Fine. Hum, dá pra dar comida pra Katia? Dá pra dar comida pra Katia. Mas eu já dei pro Duck a comida. Eu vou dar pro... Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? 
Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Caramba, que velho chato da porra. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. Um... You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Mm. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Tô machado ou não? Vou dar pro Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? There, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Hum, vou dar comida pro Larry, mano. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Eu vou dar pro, pro Mark mesmo, tadinho. Ele tá com fome. Here, eat something. I got you an apple. Wow, thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. Ele tava lá fora comigo, passando fome. Agora quem morre de fome sou eu. Não tem problema não. Not such an easy job, is it? No. Definitivamente não é. Escolher quem vai comer não. It's okay. Não. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Caralho! Caralho! 
Charming. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. I don't know. You're lying. It's true. I swear it. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. If you just die, and that's all it takes, and shit. One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Uh... Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look... We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Mm. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Uh, water. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It is. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Yeah. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Mm. Vou falar eu. <laughs> I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Mm. Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? Ah, yeah. That makes it ten. 
Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Eita porra. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my You're camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you asshole. knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> You. Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Cerca elétrica, mano. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? <laughs> I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Vou continuar com a história de que eu sou o líder. Bom, trouxemos gasolina. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. 
And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Hey there, Samano. Dá uma olhada no lugar? Dá uma olhada no lugar, vê se parece seguro. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mm. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Vou consertar o balanço quando eu tiver tábua e, e corda para isso. Galera, quem estiver assistindo, mete aquele like, mano. É a única forma de ajudar o canal. A única. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? Like e comentário. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Ó, oh, tem madeira aqui. Ah? Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Hmm. Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us? They'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. Never know. Por enquanto tá ok. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Oh, There's one. O corvo comendo. Ugh. Wait, it's assim. dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. É. Vamos tirar a flecha da cabeça dele. Disgusting. Oh. 
Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Mm. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Hum, esse aí tá bem, bem amarrado na cerca, mano. Caramba! Vou ter que bater na mãozinha. Uma mãozinha. Outra mãozinha. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ, I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Mm. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. O Lee não comeu até agora, mano. Até agora ele não se alimentou. Holy fuck! What just oh. happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah. Ah. I told you what would happen, you What the hell? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! Fuck you, strong bitches up! Gotta lure me to the open! Over there! Caramba! I got you It... now! Did you really think you'd fuck with us? What about our arrangements? You got lucky that time! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this you fence and back to the house! Ah! We got the tractor! I can do this all day! What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to I move. See I see ya! Watch Get it closer! Up. Can't hide where you're going. I already got one of you. Another one. How many of those things did we push down? Over there. Caramba, mano. Ligaram a porra da cerca, quase mataram a gente. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, 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 the fence came on. 
Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Ah, é, mano, o balanço. Eu ia consertar, mas o cara consertou para mim. Vamos ver as crianças aqui. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Claro. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. <laughs> How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Mm, I don't think Seth is. I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Beleza. Deixa eu falar com Kenny. Caramba, a volta que ele deu para falar com Kenny. Hey, Haley, found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure, in case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. 
Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those... bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Beleza. Vamos lá. Vamos conversar com os personagens. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Well, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Vamos dar aquela vasculhada básica, né? O que tem aqui na fazenda? Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Hmm, a Lily, o pai dela. Lee, oh my God, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah, it's not too bad. He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Mm. Boom. He must follow no. Hey. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. É verdade. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... <clears throat> he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him.
Acha que foi uma boa ideia? Ah, de I'm novo. Go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Caramba, que velho chato. Vambora daqui. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Beleza, não tem como entrar ali não. Vamos voltar. Espera, tem como entrar ou não? Não. If there's not enough. Opa. Enough room in the house for all of us. I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Mesma coisa, vamos embora. Vamos falar com o cara ali. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Hmm. Bora. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Será que é dos bandidos o acampamento? Não tem ninguém no acampamento. Aparentemente não tem ninguém. Tem que ir de fininho no acampamento. Bora. You see anybody? Não, tá vazio, mano. Looks empty. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Hmm. Acho difícil, mano. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Bastante lata por aqui. Yuck. I don't need that. Nothing but fuels. Shit. Hmm. 
What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Mm. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. E uma caixa da fazenda deles, mano. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Comida. Just water. Só água. Nothing. Empty. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, she's got the combat training. Yes, I did it. Looks like they expected to be here a while. A mãe e a filha. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. You steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. Yeah. Okay. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for. Oh! Caralho. God damn it! 
Caralho. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. Caramba, mano. Quem é essa mulher? Quem era, né? Essa doida. Coitada. Agora não é mais ninguém, né? Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Resolvido nada, né? A gente pegou a pessoa errada, provavelmente. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Já tão brigando, mano. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Mm. Uh, don't mind them, it's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. É. We all did a little test. We'll fix fome. that shortly. Comida. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Cara, eu vou falar com ele, mano. Ele atirou na mulher. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. Caralho. Cara doente, mano. You really like that girl. What's not to like? It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry, too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Beleza. O cara ama a arma dele, cara. O cara não bate bem na cabeça, não, mano. Apaixonado pela porra da arma dele. Vou falar com a Lily, vai. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. 
Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then, he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the Motor Inn, where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. Mm, but you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Caramba. É, eles estão escondendo alguma coisa da gente, provavelmente. Eu achei o boné da Clementine, com a foto lá da mãe com a filha. Como que o boné da Clementine foi parar lá naquele acampamento? A mulher falou que roubou, mas como? It's ok, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Mas carinha na vaca. Uou! Katia says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen. Did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? Hmm. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. <laughs> well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Vamos falar com Duck. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> ah, as crianças são muito boas, mano. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think uh we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Beleza. Some fence posts.
It's a feeding trough. Checar um por uma. Eita. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Caramba. Quem são essas roupas aqui? Hum, várias caixas. Empty. Barulhão de trovoada no fundo, mano. Vai cair um toró aqui no jogo. I wanna play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. <laughs> Falta mais um. É, mas não tem nada aqui nesse aqui. Nada aqui, só no outro. You found it too, huh? Trancado. Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Hum... I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. O que ele tá certo? Look, the guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Mm. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? <laughs> no. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Hum, quem ouve um barulho? O que tá atrás da porta? Vou perguntar. What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. But we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Caramba, uh, tem que extrair ele, mano. Pra mexer aqui. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Hmm, ela deve estar lá fora, a chave de fenda. Vamos lá. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Deve ter... Ah, na, na caixa de ferramentas deve ter a chave que eu preciso. 
That's a small toolbox. Vamos pegar. Opa, sem querer. Aí. Tem um alt tab sem querer. Consegui pegar a ferramenta que eu queria. <risos> Vamos mexer aqui, vai. Deve ser aqui que a gente mexe. Opa! Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. Ah, olha só. Vamos ligar de novo. Ah. Looks like that bell's driving the uh, what you call it? Eu acho que é só cortar, mano. Liga. Corta. Arrancar não dá. Tá. Aí. Aí eu falo pra ele que tá ruim e ele vem pra cá. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Bora lá mexer. Bora, 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 bora. Antes que ele conserte a porra do negócio ali. Vamos bora, corre, 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 corre. Kenny. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on, let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on, don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Keep that thing off. Bora lá. Um... Dinner time. Caramba, mano. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Oh, 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 Brenda, Biscuit? you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. me, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I can eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first. Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. 
É verdade, o Mark sumiu desde o começo, né? E his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. High school diploma. Hum, então os caras têm. Any space box trophy. Hmm. Caras. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. Praticavam esporte. Opa. This pai. must be Terry. O pai e a mãe na foto. I could use a shave. Gauze pads. Some kind of lotion. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Bora olhar em cima. So much morphine for. Huh, where is that cord going? Hmm. What's that by the field? Hmm. What the hell? Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. Tube, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? I guess someone needed some first aid recently. É o Mark precisou de primeiros socorros, né? Eita porra! Where the hell is Mark? Thought Brenda said he was up here resting. Feels like there's a storm coming. Ei. Is that blood? Caramba. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Sei avisar. Não pode deixar ela falar. Ela comer. Don't eat that. What? Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man, did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. They could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. Ah, uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quite what is going on? They're picking us off to trade as meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda. Tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. 
everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the what? The fucking what? Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking right. family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet- Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. Mm. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Walkers. Dad, Salt legs. Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Nah, door's too solid. Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads off and, and make you swallow them! Yeah, I don't want to know what kind. Come on, tell yourself. Sorry. Don't oh, give up. Dad. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. There's more of us on the way! Not a bello. Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah. I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You were a prick back at the motor lodge, and you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. They're not gonna open the door! Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! Dad, this isn't helping! They got caught you and duck, Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? <gasps> no! Dad, come on! Dad! God, he stopped breathing. 
I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could, believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Cara, eu vou ficar do lado da, Wake da, da Lily, man. Wake Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you <gasps> son of a bitch! Three. You're fucking worthless, Lee. Fuck! Kenny, I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Uh, acabou. Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Walkie-talkie. How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Caramba, mano. Que que Kenny... I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. gonna survive this shit we got to work together how do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do if she wants to live she'll work with us if she doesn't then the hell with her caramba Kenny aqui pariu Kenny he was still alive Lee he was still alive I'm sorry Lily I truly am Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. Caralho, mano. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Mm. It's not coming off that way. Com a mão não vai sair mesmo, não. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. 
It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Pera aí, vou perguntar para ele se ele conseguiria matar Kat ou Duck. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have... No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. É verdade, mano. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Beleza. Vou checar os bolsos do Larry ver se tem moeda. Oh boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Two quarters and a dime. Pegamos a moeda. Temos sorte. No primeiro bolso. Vamos lá. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Caralho, o Kenny acabou de matar o cara, tá me apressando ainda. Well, our way out, Lee. É pequeno. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. Ó. Oh. Corajosa. You uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kenny! Caramba, mano, o Kenny é louco. Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? This is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Que eles matavam as pessoas e Nossa, Clementine ele passou por ali, mano. Ah, 
Um, tem armas aqui. Gancho. Coice. Nossa, mano. Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Que nojento. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards, all of them. Oh God, what's wrong with these people? Vambora. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Who wants some? I dare some dead asshole to try cross my fence tonight. Hey, what are you doing outside the barn? Oh shit! Just guarding the place like you said. Well, keep sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Not Umba. Pick which one to keep alive. Not to kill. Not enough meat on it to trade. Ah. Oh, I know, neighbor. This is my favorite now, too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Sick fucker thinks this is a game. I'll keep an eye on it. Be ready to act when I say. See what he's doing now. Hmm, man. Oh, boy. A Lily. O Kenny não fez porra nenhuma, mano. Can live. No, I should fucking kill you right now. That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. Vou deixar ele preso. Not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back.
Carly. A Carly veio salvar a gente. Carly! Lee? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. They attacked us! I knew it! I told you we couldn't trust them! Shit! How many of them are there? Who left? Where? Larry's dead! They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Kaja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. And stick close. And Lee, be careful. Caramba. Shut up. You'll be fine. Oh, no. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Stand down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Ele vai levantar. Danny? Danny, is that you? Mm. What's going on out there? Mm. I left Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. Eita porra. Eu assustei. Eu assustei. Eu assustei a mulher. Lee, get back! Don't come in! Go, Brenda! Lee! Lee, don't you take another step! Brenda, come on now! You know you don't want to do this! Just go away and leave us be! wanted his dairy turned into a, a slaughterhouse. A killer, Lee. Zumbi lá em cima. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid. What? What happened, Brenda? Your family was obviously smart. How? How did it come to this? Just stop. Thank <laughs> you. 
coma. Toma! Canibal, porra! Please, that's enough! He's had enough. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked! <laughs> mm. I said, it's over! Just walk away! Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! No, I prefer my group. I prefer Clementine. I'm going to I prefer to stay with my group. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! I'm not going to lose time with you, no. They're getting in! Let's go. Deu pra ver a mãe dele saindo pela, pela... A mãe dele zumbificada saindo pela casa ali. Deu tudo errado, mano. Só dá merda. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. But? I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. Hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Mm. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. É, mano. What do you think? Você matou Larry. You murdered Larry. Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kid. No, I saved them by making sure Larry didn't kill us. No. Talvez Kenny te chasse. I couldn't do it, Ken. Well, maybe we should stay out of each other's way for a while. Caramba. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? Me. Yes, Walker's probably got them. They were very bad people, and they were punished for it. Okay. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? It 
Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. Hmm. Come out or I'll shoot. Tem ninguém, mano. Largar o carro aqui. Figures. Oh, crap. Caramba, Baby, mano. you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Hmm. É melhor não pegar, mano. A gente já passou por muita merda. You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. Clementine and I don't want any part of this. We're starving. Suit yourself. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Tudo bem. Pode pegar. Okay. What have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Mm-hmm. Ela não sabia botar pilha no rádio. Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna want to see this. Shit. This place is done. 
It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is can this all you got? Okay, I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases at all. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Longo caminho à frente, episódio 3. Caramba, galera. A gente se vê no episódio 3, então, galera. Beleza, então, falou.